Hi all, welcome back on my channel. So the the type of belts I use now is that we call the poly V, and you have a you can see here you have a, a view of the type of, uh, of belt uh, it is, and uh, here. There is a very good explanation about uh, this type of, of products. You have the flat belts that uh, some of you maybe know, and you have the let's say the regular V belt that uh, uh, that is used in a, uh, a very lot of application. And uh, what makes big difference with uh, those two types of belts and the pulley V is uh, the surface contact between the belt and the pulley. So you can see on the flat belt, it there is you know a single <coughs> it's only on the flat surface for the v belts it's uh, the surface uh, on the two sides of the of the v belt but in the pulley v uh, the surface contact is very high compared to the other design so the first thing uh, is that for the same uh, dimension and same width you you can uh, you can increase uh, the, the power uh, inside the belt and you can see here the contact surface area is 2.5 more than the other one it does mean that for the same dimension you can uh, deal with 2.5 more power so uh, in the final design it means that uh, you can uh, deal with a very high power in a very small uh, in a very small in your surface or area so it's the first uh, very good thing the second thing that is very uh, useful, and I thought that you know, on a washing machine, you can have very, very big difference between uh, the driver pulley and the driven pulley. Uh, it does mean that the difference could be uh, so big that uh, sometimes only one single uh, V belt uh, is used to make uh, the transmission reduction. In the in the in the V-belt process or the flat belt, uh, you need two, three, or four stages for that, and uh, it, so it takes more space, and it's not very interesting about that. That's why uh, I go back on those uh, poly V, and uh, I take them on several uh, milling head already, and the result is, you know, is very, very good. And uh, <coughs> the price of a poly V uh, is remain very low. So uh, there is a difference on the price, but uh, you know, the difference is not uh, not very big. But the only drawback uh, comes from the poulet. Uh, the poulet, the cost of the poulet uh, are uh, much higher than the standard one on the, on the flat one. And um, if I, I can give you an advice regarding the poulet, uh, the best thing is to uh, machine by yourself the, the poulet. Um, and based on the fact that uh, you can have very big difference between the, the driver and the driven pulley uh, it does mean generally that you only need two pulleys so it's not very big work to, uh, to make uh, to make the job so uh, it, it is one point to mention regarding uh, those one and the last thing that is uh, also interesting um, you know with, with this kind of uh, pulley you can work inside but you can work also outside uh, of the pulley like that and i use this technique you know to um, uh, to use the tensioner and uh, it's also very interesting because you can have a very complex path uh, with, with your application and uh, it does not uh, need a lot of uh, design compared to the to the vbel system and the last thing that uh, I want to mention, yeah, on the on the website of this supplier, and you can find other website about that. But uh, this one is very interesting, mainly because uh, uh, this website has online calculation. And uh, on the online calculation, you provide some uh, very basic information. So you, you have information about uh, mainly the power and the motor you use. So here I put a 2.2 kilowatts uh, motor, so it's a three horsepower. Uh, you have some driven class, motor class, duty cycle, though. so it's uh, a way you use your engine. Then you, you can put some uh, information about the layout or the speed, depending uh, uh, on, on uh, the way you, you want to work. 
So either you choose to speak about uh, the speed or you choose to define uh, the diameter of your pulley. Uh, do not forget to, to choose the groove pulley, but it also works for the smooth if you uh, need to, to use some, some back of, of the belt. And uh, then after the calculation, so in this case it's directly linked to the design I made. So the, the system tells you what type of pulley you have to take. It gives you the width, so in this case it's a, let's say quite a three quarter of an inch, a uh, little bit more. And uh, the type of uh, a rib, yeah, in this case you have six rib cones and uh, it gives you also a profile. So the profile is a dimension of the tooth. Uh, so it gives you back also the center distance that you enter and uh, the things uh, you will have uh, with your belt. You have some calculation about the tension and the sleeping limits that could be very interesting and so uh, this sleeping limit need to be used for the safety application on the middle end so I use this uh, this kind of thing to, uh, to avoid uh, any concern uh, when the, the shaft cannot rotate anymore uh, you have some information back from the engine so it's the proper dimension uh, and you have also the linear speed the only thing that uh, I saw is the transmission ratio uh, in this case on the dynamic uh, they say that it's uh, 0.64 and if you go back in the speed here you can see the transmission ratio is 0.62 so not a big deal but uh, I guess you need to take care and to, to check double check the information regarding the, the ratio and the last thing that uh, is also interesting uh, you have the, the load mm, that will be put on the bearings uh, either on the on the engine or uh, on the shaft in our example and it's a good thing to compare to the specification and you can also check with the bearings if they will accept uh, such load uh, or not uh, and you can also check the load with the speed because a bearing ca cannot uh, have the same load depending on the, on the speed you have so um, here it is the let's say the basics uh, regarding the design uh, of the milling head um, I, I will create uh, another episode where I give you uh, the detail about uh, the weights design especially uh, which type of bearings I use and also uh, I give you some uh, detailed information about the torque and speed uh, of uh, this milling head and you have to know that uh, this milling head is designed to reach all the corners uh, in the application Thus, it means that uh, it can go for very very aggressive cut uh, so uh, depending on the on the setup you have on a belt you can reach a torque of 72 newton uh, meters so it's very very high uh, but you can also reach a speed uh, of quite 600,000 uh, 6000 sorry uh, rpm depending for example if you have a very very small drill bit uh, to drive or to make some uh, deburring operation so this uh, this type of design uh, is able to uh, is very versatile and is able to reach any type of uh, of mining operation if you remain in, in the let's say normal and standard milling operation with uh, not such aggressive cuts and uh, um, not very very small tool, uh, you do not need to uh, to uh, change the setup uh, on the on the belt. But anyway, uh, if you have some let's say extreme uh, milling operation this type of design is able to follow to follow it at a very very cheap price so thank you for watching and uh, i will put uh, another video uh, with the the technical details and specification about uh, about the the meaning head